Brazilian authorities have said that Cloudflare, your company, have worked with the government to understand how they did it. Why did you work with the Brazilian authorities and what did that look like? To be honest, I don't know what the Brazilian authorities are talking about because we didn't specifically work with them to block X or to make X available in, in uh, Brazil. What I would analogize this to is everything that's on, on the web at the end of the day has a number associated with it, which is the IP address. It's sort of like your telephone number. And you can imagine in the days before you could port your telephone number, if you switch from one cell phone provider to another cell phone provider, your number would switch. Same thing happened with X. We want to deal with them where they started using our service, stopped using a competitor of ours. And in the process, the IP address switched. Brazil was simply blocking the old IP address. Uh, that made them temporarily available. Brazil was then able to block the new IP address, which was which was accessible. There was nothing that Cloudflare did to facilitate that. There was nothing that X did to make that harder on Brazil. It was simply a coincidence of us winning an enterprise customer. The timing is a coincidence, though. Were they won worldwide or just in Brazil? How much was this a one-off transition? No, it was across the across the country. And again, you know, sometimes things are just coincidences. But in this case, obviously, uh, I think they were surprised. Uh, we were surprised. Uh, by the attention. And again, there was nothing that X asked us to do in terms of eliminating the ability for Brazil to block the content inside of Brazil. And there was nothing that we did to further facilitate the ability for Brazil to block uh, what they what uh, what they were already doing. And today, my understanding is that X is once again blocked in Brazil.